Okay, I know you guys haven't seen me around for a while. I kind of have a life and a job and a family. Yeah, that's not an excuse. Writer's block, laziness, and shitty camera. Way more believable. Yeah. So at any rate, I got a new camera. I uh, got some quiet time and I'm in the mood to make a video. Hooray! So normally I don't do these, but uh, I have a product review. It's not even really a product review. Uh, I kind of got hooked on subscription boxes, like everyone else. Yeah, it's another box video, but not another one for me. This is my first one. Hooray! There's a quarterly subscription box from Fortune Cookie Soap, all the soap box, and this is me getting used to my new camera, which wants to focus on my face, which is not what you all want to see. Ah, damn it. I haven't figured out the hold the thing up and do the, like the nail girls do, I don't know. Fortune Cookie Soap Box. Uh, this one is a preview of the winter collection, which is themed around uh, the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation movie. Favorite! And everything in this box is based on that theme. It is titled Old Fashioned Family Christmas. Now there are normally between seven and ten items in the box, uh, each in a different scent. This is a Bath and Body Company. Um, and this is a preview of the upcoming collection, which will have um, most of the things in most of the scents. Box contents. So first of all, the card. Card is cute. So the Jelly of the Month Club card. There's descriptions of all the things, so um, you know what you're getting. Um, also on the back, there is an invitation to the launch party for the new collection. It tells you the date, time, whatever. That's going to be at ustream.com, like last year. And also, I'm not showing you mine, but you see the white sticker? White sticker is a code. Like money, don't lose it. This is a stern warning from Fortune Cookie Soap. It's for $10 off of a future order. The inspiration is taken from the movie. So the first item is Musma Cuticle Butter. That is this guy. There it goes. Oh. Can we have a look inside? Successful? No? <laughs> God, I suck at this. Take the picture. This mug cuticle butter. Can I refill your eggnog? Rich cream, egg, and a touch of nutmeg. So this would be an eggnog scented cuticle butter. And it is, except for, like, I don't really like eggnog, but... This smells very... Okay, so it smells eggnoggy. Like, I don't want to eat it because I think eggnog is the most vile, disgusting Christmas concoction on the planet. But this doesn't smell like I want to throw it on someone. It actually smells really good. There's like... You can smell the nutmeg and this is what it looks like. And this just goes... And mine need it. Mine need it a lot. And you just put this on the cuticles like any other cuticle butter, because I'm such an expert at this. Um, and rub it in. And it has a, a very low... See, it's like all melty. Can you see? See the melty? There it goes. Uh, it melts very, very easily. And this is awesome. I have fortune cookie soap cuticle butter in another scent. That was part of the previous Harry Potter collection, uh, Polyjuice Potion, and it is divine, and I love it. I should obviously use it more often. Um, I'm actually going to put that on all, now that my hands are nice and greased up, and my cuticles are nourished. We'll put this away and move on. Next product in the box is Melee Kalikimaka OCD Hand Sanitizer. We have a winner, Melee Kalikimaka. Can I help you? I am not used to this camera. Holy crap. Melee Kalikimaka OCD hand sanitizer with visions of swimming pools dancing in your heads. Tropical spiced rum, Tahitian vanilla sprinkled with jasmine petals and twisted woods. Now there was another Melee Kalikimaka scented item for Christmas in July. If you're around for that. Yeah, that's kind of, that's tropical smelling. But it's not coconutty like suntan lotion. Like I hate coconut scented. Okay, yeah, I'm weird. But I don't like coconut scented things. Get the smell going here. The alcohol off of my hands. 
Okay, that smells like coconut. It also smells like other things, but I can't get past the coconut because I don't like coconut. But for the sake of the video, I'll try. Okay, yeah, you can smell the vanilla in there, and maybe there's some jasmine, but really, just I can't get past coconut because I don't like it. Um, so if you like a tropical scent, though, that's going to be more your thing and less my thing. Next, ah, uh, the cookie soap. I love the cookies. Fortune cookie soap come wrapped in a little baggie. And they are, as the name would suggest, shaped like a fortune cookie. This fortune cookie soap is actually a really pretty, and it probably looks more red-orange than it should because I haven't figured out lighting with this new camera yet. There we go. Glittery and pretty and this coral orangey color which probably looks like tangerine because I fail at lighting right now. And there's a little fortune sticking out of it. This is the It Is The Season To Be Merry. Mary spelled like the Lady Mary, not like Ho 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 Mary. Maybe Mary is kind of a Ho Ho Ho. Buy this for your wife. God rest her soul. A hint of sweet almond with warm swirls of tobacco. This smells like soap. And nom. And Bethany, does your cat eat jello? Sparky, hydrate me. Hydrate me is a solid body butter. Hydrate me is an awesome thing. I actually just used a hydrate me the other day for the first time after seeing people in the Fortune Cookie Soap fan group rant and rave about them. Uh, and I'm really glad that I did because basically it's amazing and awesome. Um, you use this. Um, fresh out of the shower, like for me, I use it while I'm in the shower, uh, while my skin is still damp. A little goes a long way. Like, don't use too much unless your skin is way thirstier than mine. Um, or you could end up a little bit of a greasy mess. Um, but the properties, these are not greasy. Oh my god, my hands are so warm. This is like melting in my hands. Oh, it's melty. Look, it's a little light bulb. And it's like blue and purple and shiny and I don't think you can see it's it's really like it's starting to melt because these have a really low melting point but <laughs> it's so cute I want to be able to smell it though um we dedicate so, this to the FCS and that's fortune cookie soap family Christmas drum roll please uh scrumptious vanilla pumpkin waffles topped with brown sugar pecans and sheets of fresh whipped cream so this should be like pumpkin waffles with syrup. Oh, and it totally is. Okay, I thought we were past the pumpkin with the fall box, but we are not. It's still pumpkin. White girls in love with fall everywhere. Rejoice! Don't put your Uggs away just yet, ladies, because we still have pumpkin. Oh my god, that's amazing. Um, side note, I saw on Twitter and also on Facebook that if you find a black one of these little guys right here, if you find the black one that's covered with black glitter, um, that is Rusty's Blown Bulb, and that can win you a $50 fortune cookie soap gift card. So be on the lookout for that. If you get that one, email a picture of it to customer service. Whipped cream. I love fortune cookie soap whipped cream. It is not greasy. It soaks into my skin, and the scent lasts all day. And I've not had that kind of luck with any other body butter type um, lotion. There we go. Squirrel! We all know where the squirrel comes in, right? He's hiding in the Christmas tree. Fun times. Squirrel whipped cream. Handmade with a special low cholesterol recipe. Because Eddie can't eat them anymore since his doctor told him about his cholesterol. A festive blend of apples, sun ripened strawberries and plums, dancing with zests of orange and a splash of lime. So this should be a fruity scented whipped cream. Oh, and it totally is. And it's sugary sweet, but not like gross sugary sweet. Smell good overload. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, normally these things can smell a little bit different in the jar than they do on your skin. So I'm just going to take some of that fluffy, fluffy whipped cream goodness. I said fluffy whipped cream goodness. Focus on the fluffy. There it is. We got the fluffy. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put on a lot more than I should because, 
Wow. The whole room smells like this right now. And I am not mad about it. Oh my god. Okay, so when I put it on, the the citrus really comes out. What was that? Orange? Yes, orange. I don't, I don't like strawberry scented things. And this, like the strawberry is there, but it's not like gross like those candies with the jelly centered strawberry. That is so good. It reminds me of the orange dreamsicle scent from the summer collection. And I am not angry about that at all. I don't want to put it down. I will close it and move on to the next thing. Okay, so I totally lied and I'm not moving on to the next thing. That was one of four. Um, you could get also the Jelly of the Month Club scent, Jello Surprise, or Bend Over and I'll Show You. And I'm not going to read the scent descriptions for those uh, because if you get them, you'll know what they smell like. Otherwise, it's on your card too. And reading is fundamental. I pledge allegiance. Amen. Shower steamer. It's like a bath fizzy for your shower, which is super, super scented and super awesome. So don't soak in a tub with this. Put this in the shower the way that you're supposed to. Ooh, look, silver, shiny. So I pledge allegiance. Amen. They want you to say the damn grace. Brisk and outdoorsy blend of blue spruce and balsam fir, fresh mint, and garden herbs. Woo. That's really strong. It's this white little... That is eucalyptus. If I couldn't breathe before, I promise I can now. Like, I know I keep going like, eh, but it's not bad. It's... It's actually stronger than the cold buster that I used the other morning. So I might put this aside. Even though I've had my flu shot, I know that one of my kids will bring home whatever cooties are going around school. And I will end up with sniffles and boogers and whatever because the kids just bring home the gifts that keep on giving. And I'm going to save this for that. Matter of fact, I'll probably buy some more of these when I run out of cold buster because it's better. Moving right along. This is a new product. This is a product that hasn't been done before uh, by Fortune Cookie Soap. And this is whipped soap. Fried Pussycat. Doesn't that sound delicious? Fried Pussycat whipped soap. Because who doesn't want to smell like a fried pussycat? Juicy plum and whipped caramel wrapped in artisan bourbon vanilla and jasmine blossoms. So this should be fruity, flowery, candy, all the things. Oh. And it is... I want to eat it. Okay, so whipped soap is this fluffy, amazing, awesome, like, use it for shaving because, or wash yourself. That is sweet and delicious. Like, you can smell the plum right off the bat and the vanilla and the jasmine is like later. And I love jasmine scented all the things. This product could settle some during shipping. So, like, you can tell it was laying on its side and I'm looking at you US Postal Service it is fluffy and soft like the whipped cream body butter can we get the fluffy show the fluffy show the fluffy show the fluffy focus on the fluff really fluffy oh and it's all soft and silky oh, I can't wait to use it awesome I'm gonna go wash my hands it leaves your hands smelling really good afterwards to like I can still smell the whipped soap and I'm not mad about that one more item and this one is a bonus Christmas bonus deep conditioner our third annual mystery fragrance no hints there's a $50 fortune cookie soap gift card uh, up for grabs so email your best guesses to customer service at fortunecookiesoap.com a winner will be chosen and announced on our Facebook page on December 22nd so I'm gonna open this and show you the product and I'm gonna smell it and I know exactly what that is I'm not telling <laughs> neener 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 deep conditioner <laughs> I think you're going to be able to see it in my shitty lighting anyhow. I haven't seen this before. This is, it's almost like a mask. It's this really thick, really rich conditioner that 
I mean, literally, like, that would be all I would need. Because, well, I don't have a lot of up going on right now. Because I got mad and shaved it off. Gosh, that is thicker than the cuticle butter. Holy crap. It smells good. Like, that's a funny, that's a funny gesture, right? It's like a hair mask. I don't know any other way to describe it. I have a feeling that a little bit of this is going to go a really, really long way. And if you use all of this sample in a month or less, you either have a lot, a lot of hair or you're doing something wrong because there's, I mean, that's a good size sample. That's your fortune cookie soap box for winter 2014. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, give it a like, share it on Facebook, leave me a comment. Yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching.